This is Red Feather from Gripax. In this credit video, we will be showing you how to put multicolor into your created text. Open Crita, create a new project. When your Crita canvas appears, if you are going to uh, have a background, it is now time to choose one. This way, it will help you color coordinate with your text. Once you have chosen your color background for this Crita project, go to the Crita toolbox and click on the T text icon, then go to the canvas and draw a box. Once the Crita text editor appears, make any adjustments necessary like color of the text and size of the text. Keep in mind, in most cases, in order to save a change to the Crita text, it must be highlighted first. Also, it is good to keep in mind that once creating Crita text, Crita places the text on a new layer called a vector layer. And in order to move the, this text, you must be on that layer. Once this is done in Krita, go to the Tools Options. See the box that says Scale? If it does not have a check mark in the box, place one there. Now you can go to the Krita Canvas and scale your text in order for it to look how you think you would like it. And you can rescale it at any time. Once this is done in Krita, click on the next icon over called Stroke. Then click on the Color Fill icon. Notice the color bar that appears and the border outline of your text. The credit color bar that has now appeared by clicking the color bar and choosing a different color, color changes the outline color. Once this is done in Krita, click on Gradient Fill. Scroll down to the preset color bar and click. Notice all of the preset color bars to choose from. In order to actually get the look you might want for your credit multi-text, it may take some looking around and further manipulation. For example, once a change is made, if you are not seeing much, scroll down and adjust the Krita thickness by hovering your mouse and using your mouse wheel scrolling up or down. Once this is done in Krita and you are getting a better view, if you then go back to the color bar that you are on, this is the lower color bar, notice the arrows on the Krita color bar. These can be adjusted one way or the other in order to enhance or a color or diminish it. Once you have an understanding of this credit feature, go ahead and try some of the other preset color bars. There is a lot being offered here and it is fun to be creative. By going back and adjusting the thickness on different color bars, you can examine the multicolor effects you can gain. By clicking back on the preset color bar and scrolling down, you can see a lot more color bars, including this Krita multicolor bar that, as you can see, has allowed me to develop a rainbow-like effect. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not 
become a subscriber, and ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu1. Thank you in advance. I am out. Mm -hmm.